If you are an architecture major or an architecture fanatic, I created this short video series regarding architecture terminology Tuesday to help you understand architecture lingo and terms that you may not know about or systems that you may be confused about. Today we are going to be talking about domes. We got dome wax, dome polish, dome freshener. All your dome needs at Dome Depot, located at the intersection of the 105 freeway and the dome. Dome Depot. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, my name is Natalie Perry. I'm a current student at University of Pennsylvania getting my master's degree in architecture. Please consider subscribing. It means the world to me. I sincerely mean that. And also consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm paying my way through grad school. I do sincerely want to share the world of architecture with you guys. All right, let's just get right into a dome. And what is it? By definition, a dome is a rounded vault forming the roof of a building or structure, typically with a circular base. Domes are indeed hemispherical structures that have evolved from the arch. They typically form roofs or ceilings. A dome will exert all forces and loads to its perimeter. Therefore, the supporting walls must be able to redirect the loads to the foundation and ground. Note, the vault is much simpler than doming. Think of a dome as a rotated arch on a vertical axis. So what's the history behind a dome? They first appeared in smaller buildings like round huts in ancient Middle East and the Mediterranean. It was the Romans that introduced large-scale masonry domes. The earliest masonry dome is the Pantheon, built around 100 AD. The massive domed rotunda measures 142 feet in diameter, and the coffering in the dome makes it way less. The ceiling contains five rings of 28 rectangular coffers. An oculus at the top is also there, and that measures 27 feet. It is the Byzantine architects who invented raising domes onto piers. I actually talked about this in my Hagia Sophia video and what a pediment actually is. But essentially in the Hagia Sophia, the Byzantines transitioned a hemispherical dome to a cubic base using pendentives. Pendentives are inverted triangular masses in masonry, and their apexes rest on piers, conducting the force of the dome. In the early 1400s, Roman engineers started building two domes. This creates an illusion of greater height. The U.S. Capitol Dome, built in 1793, is a double dome. The large outer dome is just a thin shell, supported by rings of curved iron ribs. The interior, smaller, self-supporting dome is only visible from the interior. Double domes enable the ceiling inside to be placed lower and better relate to the interior space. Now, in the 20th century, Buckminster Fuller, who I have also mentioned in this video, invented the geodesic desic dome. It is a partial sphere and it's composed of a series of triangles instead of a series of arches. The Epcot Center is a great example of Fuller's geodesic dome. Well that's it for today's video, short and sweet as to just a brief introduction as to what a dome is. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments below or if there's any terms that you would like me to go over briefly on my channel. Once again, hit that subscribe button. All my sources are below and consider supporting me on Patreon and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys.